My brother, yes, can you just stand here? This is number two, brother. Yes, God bless you. This year is a very good year for you. You understand? This year, these people were laughing at you. Oh. They will be very surprised of you. Because I'm just hearing people laughing at That's you true. and say to you that uh, this man, what he has tried has never worked. Hallelujah. And then now they will see it working. This year. You understand? Me, me, I want to pray for you. You go back. You understand? Amen. You do your calling. Hallelujah. Your calling is upon you now. You hear me? Amen. So this anointing you receive, take it now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I pray for you now. You are blessed. You know why? I want to tell you why I'm praying for you. I don't want people to know what I'm saying here. Because you, I'm releasing you to go and do your calling. You hear me? Amen. In front of them, you prosper. They will come and ask forgiveness. Hallelujah. Can you touch here? I want to release you. I'm saying what happened to your mom will never happen to you. Come on, you spirit. Live your family in Jesus' name. I open a door for progress. I open a door for progress. I heard that you wanted to study, but you didn't have money. And then, yes. eh? yes. you wanted to study, but you didn't have money. Yes. Now you are facing a lot of trouble here. So may God give you a job in Jesus' name. Amen. You are blessed. Viewers all over the world, welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday life service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T. E. Makananisa. And with me here today is my sister who received a prophecy from the men of God, Apostle JB Makananisa. Ma'am, please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is uh, Kolofelo Lebopa and I come from Tembisa. Today, during the service, the man of God located you and spoke to you. Kindly please tell us what the man of God said to you and please confirm. Um, yes, he did locate me today. Uh, it was my day today. Um, he said to me that I need to touch my stomach and he prayed for me and he said what happened to my mother will not happen to me. He also mentioned um, a, a, a desire that I had uh, sometime last year. I think it's for the past two years actually, to actually study and he, he touched on that and I can confirm that to be very true because I wanted to study um, human resources and he, he said he's also opening uh, the door and he's also opening the door for my employment so that I can, I can pay for my studies. How do you feel that today the man of God located you and spoke to you? I feel like my breakthrough has come because these are my pra these were my prayer points for the longest time. I've been praying that I need a breakthrough to get a job. I need a breakthrough to continue with my studies. And yeah, I'm very I'm very happy that the man of God located to me, located me today. And how long have you been believing in God for this? It's been quite a while because I've been out of a job since 2018. And um, I got an opportunity in 2020 to get a job, but it only lasted from March until March. So it wasn't a very long time. You can imagine I was very disappointed. So I'm very happy that God has remembered me once again. And what words of encouragement do you have to somebody who's currently watching this? Um, I would like to say they should keep on praying without ceasing. They should, they, should, they should look up to God and trust in Him in all things because He is the author and finisher of our faith. And God's timing is the best. No matter how much you can have a desire to have something to happen in your life, but if it's not God's time, it will not happen. So I'm finally very happy that my breakthrough has come. Thank you. I'm hearing there's someone here. Can you just touch your stomach there? This lady here. Lift up your hand. Yes. You are free today, but well, there's something that bites your stomach inside you. Yeah. Yes. You feel something biting. Yeah. So it's leaving you today. Come oh. on. You are healed. There's a pain in your back here. Yes. Eh? You yes. are free today. Yes. I set you free. 
I'm not here for demons. Hey, hey, when I, hey, when I, I mean, I know myself. My name is Makaranisa. I know myself. I want someone to be free today. Be free. In Jesus' name. Mama, this pain is affecting your feet here. So you begin to feel cramps, strange cramps. So you are free today, Mama. Can you just come here, brother? This one? Yes. Where is your friend, a short man? Where is he? A short, a short like this. He's here. He's reaching here. Yeah, I, I don't remember. Because you and your friends, you are suffering a lot. You yeah. always think business. Eh? Yes, yes. Yeah, yes. And yes. which business when you don't have money? Yeah, come here. Let me pray for you. I'm here to bless you. You will remember your friend. Come. Come. You will remember your friend. You are free with your friend in Jesus' name. <laughs> Brother, come. You, I want to release you. I want to release you. Amen. Because in your family, who died in your family? I see people burying someone. This is what happened May last year. I don't remember for now. Come here. Where I'm touching here, you always have constipation. You feel your stomach bloated. Yes. Eh? Yes, yes. So yes. today I said you're free. You are free, you make it in Jesus' name. You never thought, you could. can you see this thing coming out here? Let me touch you here, brother. You have a demon here. Come on. Come on. A demon of lust. Come on. This demon is blocking you, brother. Are you hearing me? Amen. This demon of looking around, ladies. Satan has brought it. It's a generational curse. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. You are free. Can you just come here? <laughs> Look here. You always dream eating. Yes. Eh? Yes. And this thing has blocked you here. Yes. Sometimes when you go to the toilet, you feel very hot. Yes. Uh, come on, you demon. I saw sauce. You hear me? Yes. I saw sauce developing here. Comes and go. Comes and go. You are free today. Amen. You understand? Amen. Yeah, because in your family, you people here, you worry a lot about marriage. And there's now you, you have this. So I break this case of failing to marry. And Amen. these things will never come back to you. Amen. Okay, God bless you.